This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Friday, May the 17th, 2019. Today in 1809 was the end of the line for one of the odder nation states in world history. The Papal States was the short name of a kingdom in central Italy under the direct and complete authority of the Pope. And they were a thing in one form or another for 1,100 years. And just like people make arguments that the church was better off before the church was the official religion of any given kingdom or country, so too there are good arguments to be made that the Pope was a lot better off when he wasn't in charge of 6,000 square miles of Italian farmland. Many of the worst episodes in the history of the papacy go back to ambitious men who wanted to become Pope not so that they could serve Jesus, but so that they could basically be a king with absolute power around them and the power to control and tax bishops around the world. Today was the day when Napoleon called time on that arrangement. It would be another 60 years until the Papal States were fully dissolved, but today was the end of the line for the papacy as king of a secular kingdom. In a whole other kind of kingdom, today in 1977, a SoCal businessman named Nolan Bushnell opened a pizza joint focused on little kids. Now Bushnell wasn't known for pizza. He was known for founding Atari. He was also a big fan of Disney World, especially the early animatronics. And so he envisioned a pizza joint with a quote, pizza time theater that would feature animatronic characters singing, dancing, and playing instruments. The place would also include an arcade and would be named after the central character, a giant rat named Chuck E. Cheese. The first bit was rocky because the tech was evolving rapidly, arcades were evolving rapidly, lots of money changed hands and lots of patents and acquisitions kept the waters muddy as to who could use what for what. Drama among the partners caused a short-lived schism in which showbiz pizza came into existence as a kind of clone of Chuck E. Cheese before being merged back in with the parent company in the early 90s. In April of 2019, for better or worse, Chuck E. Cheese announced that the animatronic theaters would be closed and dismantled by the summer, bringing to an end a whopping 42 years of pizza time animatronic theater. In 1984 today, Prince Charles of the UK was asked for his thoughts on a proposed addition to the National Gallery on Trafalgar Square. He replied that the addition would be a, quote, monstrous carbuncle on the face of a much-loved and elegant friend. The most English of outrage followed. The whole affair actually brought about a question that was suppressed almost as quickly as it was raised because the simple discussion was a bit too real for the state-sponsored BBC. Ultimately, is anyone allowed to consider whatever the powers that be approve of as wrong? Can anyone disagree with the cultural party line? Unlike the U.S., the BBC is a state-run media institution. The state, and not the free market, appoints the board of directors. And so if the state wants the news and entertainment to hold to a party line on anything, from homosexuality to Brexit, They technically have that right, and they can appoint governors of the BBC to make those things happen. And just as U.S. news organizations self-censor by refusing to give voice to those that they consider dissidents or proponents of the, quote, wrong way of thinking, all of the European state-run news agencies can censor in that same way. But the royal family is a bit of a carbuncle. The royals can do and say whatever they please, and the people of the UK care about their opinions, especially when they have opinions that are opposed to the party line. And while the Queen Mum has been very judicious in her life, Prince Charles has no duty or obligation to follow suit. I suppose the more things change, the more they stay the same. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.